I found the worst opinion. <laughs> Some of you need help. Oh my god, this is so true. Does my hair make me look like a child from the 90s? Yes. Am I gonna change it? No. Hi, how are you? I hope you're very, very well. So, today I'm talking about Glee. It seems that this is what the people want. So it's what the people are gonna get. Um, I did a video last week or so talking about people's unpopular Glee opinions. There were so many comments asking for a part two. So I asked on my Instagram again for unpopular opinions. So if you do want another one, because there's a lot of opinions out there and some of them are not the best. But if you wanna share yours and if you want them to be in a video, then um, follow me over on Instagram. If you don't know me, my name is Amy. I do theater content on YouTube. So lots of stuff around Glee. Broadway, all that kind of jazz. If you like that stuff, then you might like me. But if you don't, that's okay too. <laughs> and so if you do want to subscribe, that would be very nice. And thank you if you do. So let's start with some of your opinions. I have to say, I've seen a couple that are questionable. Okay, so I got a lot of, I know as a theater kid, it's a sin, but I just don't like Glee. Or I just don't like Glee. I think Glee's crap. I hate Glee. I've never seen it. Oh my God. And like, I don't think that is unpopular or controversial or it's like the whole Hamilton thing it's like there's like a whole thing and it's like if you don't like something that's fine like I don't think it needs to be controversial I think we need to just take the hate aspect out of just not liking something or not vibing with it or never having watched it like it's fine I feel like people get really angry about stuff like this I don't think it's a big issue if you've never seen it, that's fine if you've never seen it, you're probably not watching this video but I got a lot of that Sue should have not been allowed in a school the diet she had the Cheerios on what the I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember her having the Cheerios on a diet, but I remember when she was gonna blow Britney out of a cannon. She definitely wasn't the best person to be looking after children. Principal Figgins was just trying his best and Sue bullied him. Principal Figgins is iconic. I agree. Do you remember when he was talking about, what, did they sing TikTok? And he went, key dollar sign, ha. For Kesha, that was my favorite. Pop sensation, key dollar sign, ha. Oh, you you mean Kesha? I loved that moment in Glee. Key dollar sign, ha. <laughs> Biggins! You rock! Sue trying to get rid of the Glee club became boring and repetitive. Okay, I like kind of agree with this. So whenever I talk to my mum about Glee, because we started watching it together, she would always say it's always like the next sectionals, the next regionals, and that was kind of this boring underlying thing that she said just got really repetitive. And I kind of agree with the Sue thing. Like, I think they could have done a lot more with her. Like, Sue really went off the rails after a while. She, like her storylines were so weird. And I don't know, like, I just, I just think it should have ended after season three. I'm sorry. Some TV shows, when stuff's cancelled, you're like, oh my god, that's so sad. But actually, there's a time, do you know what I mean? I mean it all just gets a bit old, doesn't it? Finn wasn't a great singer and shouldn't have gotten as many solos or duets as he did. I kind of agree with this. I feel like the Glee Club had so many amazing female singers. I love Leah, Amber Riley, Naya. There were some great singers in there, in the girls, but I never really felt like they had the boys. I don't know, nobody who kind of matched up to the girls, do you know what I mean? They should have thrown in a bit of a Jeremy Jordan moment, you know? You know, like a real musical theatre man. Because especially when Blaine came in, I, I think that's why a lot of people really like Blaine because he had such a good voice. And I suppose Kurt was their musical theatre man. He had such a high voice. And maybe they should have given him low ones because one of my favourite Kurt songs, no, my favourite Kurt song ever is Not The Boy Next Door from The Boy From Oz. And it's because he's singing in a nice, comfortable male musical theatre key. But they're always like, oh, Kurt, can you sing to find gravity? I don't know. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I agree. Rewatching, I think Rachel is the funniest character now. Leah's delivery cracks me up. I think Leah Michelle is a great actress, and I think that you can really see that in Glee. The thing is, a lot of people hated her, and Leah Michelle, from all I've seen, seems like a very nice person. I just think she's a great actress, and I do think she's got great comic timing as well. Like, she really hits the beats, and I think that she really just understood Rachel as a character. I think the thing is that a lot of people see a lot of themselves in Rachel, especially like hard hardcore theatre kids and Leah Michelle will have been able to see that as well so she's made the character kind of realistic in a way that you can hate her. Does that make any sense? That's how I see it. The new directions honestly weren't top tier. 
I kind of agree. The thing is that like, <laughs> when you look at them, compared to the other show choirs, I'm like, the, the other show choirs, I feel would definitely win. Like, I've never been to a show choir competition myself, but the other schools were always like, they were so slick and they were so good. And New Directions were kind of like the underdogs. So we wanted to root for them, even though they maybe weren't the best. <laughs> I don't like Sugar, I don't see why she is there. I feel like Sugar Mata was like a massive like fever dream. She came in and then was kind of there in the background and then she was just gone and like, I definitely agree. Some Somebody else was like, Sugar Mata is the best character ever and she had the best voice. So, you know, opinions. It goes to show we've all got them and they're all different. Okay, don't hate me, but I don't really like Brittany. The fact that she became smart all of a sudden made me dislike her character, but I didn't like the Brittany, Brittany episode either. Okay, so Brittany was never my favorite character. Specifically, when she went off to MIT, I'm pretty sure it was because Heather Morris was pregnant at the time, but I felt like it was just so random and like so stupid. Like they could have sent her off to something that was a bit more normal. Oh, the whole time she was a genius. It just makes no sense. Like, I just think it's stupid. Because some of the stuff that happened on Glee that made no sense and was just stupid, it was like, ha ha ha, but it's still quite funny. But this wasn't even funny. It was just like, what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow and Kurt have the same singing voice. Shall we test this out? What is she saying? Forget you. Ooh. I have a shed gun. My neighbour just walked right... Mm, past my window. I have nothing. Let's listen. I believe the thing that we would use to describe the similarity in their voices is auto-tune. <laughs> is that mean? <laughs> I don't think they have the same singing voice, but I do think that both of them have had a lot of mixing going on on their vocals that makes it sound the same. Some of you need help. Somebody said, Rachel Berry should have been the one sent to the crack den and shouldn't have come back. I don't think anyone should have been sent to the crack den. The thing is, people really hate on Rachel and yeah, she did some bad things, but I don't think she's nearly as bad as people make her out to be. People are like, she's the biggest bully on the show and it's like, was she really? I don't think so. Oh my god, people love using the word toxic in these things. <laughs> this was so toxic. <laughs> toxic is like the buzzword, isn't it? It's like, oh my god, that's so toxic. I think it's funny. Is that an unpopular opinion? <laughs> Oh my god, this is so interesting. I really don't like any of the holiday episodes. Okay, right? The Glee Christmas albums are my favourites. I listen to them every year, that and Michael Bublé, on repeat. I hate the holiday episodes. I find them so boring. Like, I skip them every time. I totally agree. But the albums, Oh Holy Night, Hello, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, oh, amazing. But the episodes, Skip them. Do you remember that chipmunk one? Isn't that such a weird episode when they're like, it wasn't urged and now we're sharing it. And it was like, it's very weird. The Irish stereotypes with Rory's character were cringy. Yes, I agree. Bringing him in, making it this whole thing about being a leprechaun. Oh, so cringe. It's like, come on, write better. Come on, please. Oh my God, this is so true. Suspending Marley for not dressing slutty was the worst thing she did. I agree. The thing is, I said in my last, I was gonna say my last episode. <laughs> I said in my last video like this, that Mr. Shoe is a meme. He's not quite as bad as he's made out and a lot of it was a joke, whatever. But that was just plain old wrong. It made no sense. And she's getting over an eating disorder and then he's like, oh yeah, well you can't be in the Glee Club and you're suspended. What? I don't know where that whole thing came from, like with him and like the the twerking and stuff because like Sue was gonna give Unique their own bathroom as long as the Glee Club stopped twerking and Will's like, no, we won't stop twerking. That's just bad. I've been talking a lot about some of the stuff just being there for like comedy, but I don't think again that that is funny, it's like, it's just unnecessary. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't see any comedy in that. So I thought that was a bad shout. I found the worst opinion. Oh. So this person said, the character Finn dying was a good thing for Rachel's growth as a character. 
The character died because the actor died. I just, I want to give everybody's opinions a chance to, you know, talk it out or whatever, but I just think that this is, I don't think you can look at it as black and white as that. Maybe if, if Cory Monteith had left the show and hadn't passed away and they had killed off Finn's character, then I think you can discuss things like this. But when the actual actor dies, I just think it's a no-go. It just seems so inappropriate to me. Oh my God, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> This person said, I don't get why people hate on Mark so much. Almost idolise Corey. They were both problematic. Right. You cannot compare somebody having a drug addiction to child pornography. You just can't. You just can't. This person said, I, I don't get why. So here's my opportunity to explain this to you in the best way I can as a not very smart person. <laughs> the thing is that Corey had a mental health issue. He'd suffered from it before Glee, suffered from it without. Eugene's like, give me a lesson, babe. <laughs> Addiction is something personal that affects you and obviously the kind of people in your immediate circle. I do think that Corey's experience was a lesson to a lot of people that you never know what's going on in somebody else's life. You don't know how hard their struggle is. You can be at the top of your game, living your best life and still suffer from addiction and mental health issues and that is a serious thing. Whereas what Mark Sailing did was owned child pornography. That is for his own gain. That is hurting children. I just don't think that you can compare them. Well, you can't compare them. It's awful that Mark killed himself. That is awful. Very sad. However, he also owned child pornography and that is the worst. <sighs> oh my God. I can't end on that, come on. <laughs> Somebody said Bills is the best Warbler song. Okay, I love Bills. It's a tune. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my credit card bills? And pay my damn damn bill? Pay my damn 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 bill? I don't think you do. So you and me are through. Bing 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 bing. A classic. I also love Animal. Um, silly love songs. Mm -hmm. I wish there was more of Sebastian. Hun, that's not popular. I think we can all agree that we needed more Sebastian. I loved him. That is my reacting to your unpopular or controversial opinions. <laughs> what did you think? Some very mixed opinions in there. So thank you to everybody who did submit your unpopular opinions. Sorry I couldn't share them all, but if you would like another one of these, then do let me know. Or if you want me to do an unpopular opinions on Smash or any other TV shows, then let me know. I watch a lot of TV. Anyway, I will see you soon. I love you lots. Bye.